Oh boy. Hey, I'm so excited. Let me bring her in. I am so excited to have her. Hold on. We're going to have Lisa Berry on. Hold on, guys. All right. Hold on. Here we go. All right, I did that. Okay. <laughs> what will happen to my Facebook? Uh-oh, guys. Oh, all right. Gonna do this again. Hi, Gail. Hi, Lisa. Okay, I'm gonna invite you on. Hello, Gail. I'm so glad to have you. Hi, Kristen, good morning. Okay, for some, okay, here we go. Lisa, I'm gonna get you right in. Okay, yes, we've got one, and then uh, it's not showing you. Okay, Lee, hello, Lee, one minute. Trying to get, why isn't it, oh, why isn't it showing? Lisa, let's get you in there. Oh, Lisa, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Well, why aren't you in my video? You need to be here, Lisa. We need to get you in. There you are. Hi, Kristen. Okay, guys, I'm adding Lisa Berry. Now listen, she is should be coming on. Adding. It says it's adding. It better hurry up and add. All right. I gotta uh, <laughs> Hey Lisa, you're here. Yay. We did I'm it. Nervous with that because I tell you, I, it does it doesn't always do the same thing. But hello. Hello, good morning. I don't know where to look. I'm going to look at, am I looking in the right place if I look at the camera there? You're looking in the right place. It's always okay, tricky. I, I do it from a phone, so I'm always looking to the right. So you're good. Okay, Let good. me tell them a little bit about you, okay? All right. Lisa Berry. Guys, you're going to love her. Hello, Sally Saint. Hello, oh, hello. Hi, Sally. Hello, hi, Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn, yay. It's so good to see you. Okay, we've got lots of friends on. All right, now. Lisa Berry is an expert in breathing life into the dreams and messages of those wanting to live and express by, uh, vibrantly, um, energetically, and happily, while standing confident and secure, of, rooted in their personal power. That's cool. I gotta love it. You know I gotta love it. <laughs> Lisa fulfills her commitment as an international radio show host. We got two radio show hosts here. Ah, guys, that's cool. Uh, also a published author and a registered holistic nutritionist as she recognizes her mission to find, help, and connect with those who need and want to shine. I love that bio. Hi, Lisa. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me here. I'm so, I was so excited that the getting ready this morning, I thought, oh my gosh, I need to like calm down a little bit so that the phone doesn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think in the morning it's good to be excited. It wakes everybody up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start right from the top because you are a nutritionist, okay? And you're a radio show host, so you're used to the questions. <laughs> you give the questions, I know. <laughs> so here we go. With, with, okay, we are famous. Women are famous for knocking our body down. Oh, I'm too fat. Oh, I'm too thin. Oh, this never looks good on me. Oh, my gosh. And going baby sh bathing suit shopping is like the worst thing in the world. Yeah, that's what, yeah. It's like, oh no, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do this. So, all right, we have got to, I, I believe firmly, we, you know, could I stand to lose a few pounds? Yes, and I am. But do I hate my body in the process? No, why don't I? And that's what you have to answer because why, why is it so important for us to honor this incredible vessel we live in? Oh, I love that you said that, which reminds me, I'll start with a quote that I just love and I share it all the time, is that our bodies are the garage in which we park our souls. And oh, I, like that. I share that I like one that. often in it, in it, every time it's summertime or springtime, you see, you know, all the people raise the garage doors and what do they do? They get in there and they clean out and they get rid of stuff and they make it all pretty for the car, right? And they bring the yeah. car and then... <laughs> And then they just feel like they have more space. And I love the word space because when you have space, you have choice. And 
when I think about like when you had said that, and that was really brave of you to, you know, just to say, I, I, could I stand to lose a few pounds? I mean, could I stand <laughs> to tighten up my arm flab? Sure. I mean, you know, sure, so, yeah. Yeah. But, the, but the thing is, is that if there's not enough space in our bodies, because we fill it with judgment, uh, clutter kind of thoughts, um, and hatred, yeah. like self-hatred, yeah. then we can't like p put in the space of choice and love. And there's one thing I love to, I always think about in my, in my own head, I think, okay, wait a second here. I, to be, to be at peace with something doesn't mean I have to love it. It doesn't mean I have to be happy, but it doesn't mean I had to create that circumstance, but it definitely means that I can appreciate the situation that I'm in. Um, here's a funny share. It just, it's just perfect about body shaming, completely, completely different. I got scarlet fever a year ago. It was like having oh. fear burn over my entire body. And let me tell you, I was mortified over, oh my God, is this going to scar? Like, is this going to scar? And I, I was covering and didn't, like, it was head to toe. And I was wow. like, oh, my gosh, I, I'm actually starting to hate my skin. And our skin is our wow. largest organ for detoxification. And here I am hating it. Yeah. And that's a huge yeah. body shame. And I know people don't think about it that way. But what about people who get um, acne or cold sores like the skin? So it could be body weight, body size. It could be their hair if they're balding or thinning. It could be anything. So yeah. it's, it's the more matter of, walking through and saying, okay, I didn't choose to have scarlet fever. I didn't choose to technically have this acne unless I was controlling my hormones and my diet and all that stuff. Right, right. But it's more about being at peace with it and saying, okay, what can I appreciate about the situation? And am I making choices to be in balance the way that makes me healthy, shine and glow? That's right. And, and, you know, you bring up a really, really good point. If we are filling our heads with, oh, I hate my body oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate the flab, I hate the scar, I hate this. You, you are, you can't, you talked about having the empty mind, basically, or the space, it's cleaning space. out the garage, having space. Yeah, if you're filling it, you guys, you really do have to think of it that way. If you're filling it with all your, your criticalness, then there is no room for you to love or even accept or even accept, not even, you know, love, but just accept it. And I have to tell you, when you start to accept it, that's when you can start to make change, not when you hate it. Right. Don't you agree? I do. And I love that you say the word accept. That's huge. And I want to help yes. people say this because I've, 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 I've worked with weight loss forever. And that's a tough one because women and, and men will say, okay, wait a second. Are you telling me that I have to accept and, and just like say, oh, I accept this big belly, I accept these big thighs. And I'm saying, <laughs> it's, it's not that. It's that it's accepting who you are inside. It's almost like stepping outside your body above and looking down at your body and saying, yeah. it's not who I am. It's simply, it is a vessel of which I'm being able to go around in, in this world and deliver my message or my service or obtain experiences. Like, come on, let's be a little selfish too. I want to experience so much love and excitement and joy. And right. maybe, maybe that is eating a little too much or because I love my work so much, I don't get as much ex activity as I want. So right. that is what the acceptance is, is accepting where you are because of the choices you've made. And if you don't like them, then accepting that you need to make new choices that are healthy yeah. and more in alignment yeah. and vibration for what you'd like to see. Exactly. You know, if I went around saying to myself that, oh, I'm fat, oh, I'm fat, which I'm not fat, I just need to lose a few pounds, folks. <laughs> but if I went around saying, oh, I'm fat, oh, I'm fat, oh, I'm fat, I, instead, I chose, I'll use myself as an example, because I'm here, I chose to say, my gosh, this incredible body of mine, has helped me have three beautiful boys. Wow. Has helped me to um, travel the world. Has helped me to see things that I love to see. But to, the gift of life is one of the biggest things. And I was able to do that. My body is strong. It's healthy. You know what I mean? You choose the positive, And that will help you accomplish what you want to accomplish in getting your body even better. But, but we have so much to be grateful for with our bodies. We really do, even if they, are, they seem to be deceiving us in some ways. And, and that's a word I've heard people say a lot. You know, Lisa, that my body's deceiving me. 
Right. What do you say to them when they say that? That's a good one because a lot of people will experience pain and, and I'll use myself as this example too. I'm, I'm appreciative of the strength and the vitality. And then a few months ago, I'm trying to think of when this was, it doesn't matter. Um, my knees, I, I, I had this extreme knee pain and I was like, Oh my uh -huh. gosh, do I have arthritis? Like I jumped. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I kind of sat there and I thought, okay, First of all, bending at the knee is, you know, so I like to go into, is there a message in here? I like to sit on the floor a lot. And so that's just something. But then I said, you know what? That was my choice. I like to sit on the floor. I'm over bending. I'm doing these things. Maybe I need to just not step out of my comfort zone, but you know what I mean? In that, in that term, maybe I need to sit somewhere else. Maybe I need to experience a different viewpoint. Maybe there's all these things I need to offer love. Maybe my diet does have a little, a lot of inflammation and uh, inflammatory foods in them. So I kind of looked through all of that and the when you say deceived me kind of thing that is the veil of judgment and yes yeah, yeah yeah and so the judgment like we want to have awareness but awareness and judgment is so different judgment is negative judgment is hurtful judgment causes pain and judgment separates us it separates us from somebody else and it separates us from ourselves and if i may yeah. this would be a perfect time to kind of just share um this new exercise that i've been doing and i kind of Oh, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and uh, this is actually, this came from because I had, um, I tend to, I talk a lot and I talk excitedly. So I lose my voice a little bit, like strained. And then I, I, we had some barbecues on the weekend and some friends over and I, I probably ate just too much, like just too much. It feels bad things too, but just too much. And yeah. I was starting yeah. to judge. I was starting to and get angry with myself. And yes. And, and have regret, actually. That's like a yucky thing to have regret. Because here I am enjoying family time and friend time. and But now I'm suddenly so hard on myself. So I laid in bed that night. And I, I said, all right, we're going to have a conversation with you, cells. <laughs> and so I love it. <laughs> because it wasn't just my mind that I was angry with or my body or my choices or my stomach because it felt so full. And I was so thirsty for eating the wrong kind of salt. And I was like, oh. I was so angry that I had to drink so much and pee so much. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we've and, all been there. <laughs> yeah. And so, and it's so funny because I thought, I don't want to wake up tomorrow and be upset with myself because you know what? You can't go out in the world and do what you want to do when, when you don't like yourself. So I laid in bed and I kind of thought, wow, there's a lot of different cells. I have my liver cells, my blood cells, my muscle cells, my brain cells. And I thought, I want to give love to all of them. But first I want to say sorry to them. And, and this is the big one. You ready? I didn't say sorry for, let's say, eating crap. I said sorry for being angry with you and sorry for judging you. Nice. Because you, you've got to jump out of that shame vibration, like just lift the level. Because you, yes. you can't jump into, oh, I hate you, but guess what? I love you. Because first of all, I wouldn't believe it if somebody just said all those horrible, nasty things to me. And then they said, oh, I'm so sorry. I just love you. No. Okay. Yeah. Hey, whoa. Yeah. Whoa, that's what I would say too. Just back up. <laughs> so, no, I love this. So I, I went through each little cell and I really started thinking. And then I realized, which is funny, I thought, I actually don't remember what the spleen does. And I went, oh, okay, well then let me let me get to know you. And do you know that what it means to love someone or something is actually to get to know them, to be interested in them, to care about them. That's what love is. And so I was like, let me get to know myself and let me get to offer that accept and vibration, uh, vibration. And then to say, you are strong. You can filter this. We have so much to do. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go and we'll do it together. Yeah, that's exactly right. I love that exercise. It's a good you know, one. I, it does. It takes loving and, and forgiving and saying I'm sorry to to the, to ourselves for being so angry at ourselves I think we have to realize that this is the body that carries us around and it is the body that we really actually chose <laughs> for good or bad and it is time to just say I love I love you I love what you do I love that exercise. That is fantastic, Lisa. Yeah, thank you. Oh. I came up with that one. And there's one yeah. tiny one if we have time. Do we have time for a little fast one? Sure, we do. Okay. Sure. So, because we're all, I love makeup and hair and beauty and all that. I do too. Stuff. <laughs> like a hippie Barbie here. But um, the, <laughs> what I love is um, I, I don't go to the spas or salon. I kind of do it myself. But a lot of people go for like something called the chemical peel. 
Oh gosh, yes. Right. They so, push those like crazy. They even give it cute names like the lunchtime peel. Yes. And yeah, these little cute names. Yes, so we I have know. I have a new thing for the chemical peel. It's actually okay. our own chemicals in our body. And because yeah. just by um being in the sunlight or exercising or thinking happy thoughts and memories, we literally change the chemistry in our body. So what I yes. do is I let I lay on the floor and then I lift my spine one vertebrae at a time, like I'm peeling off the floor and then I lower it very mindfully each vertebrae. And what happens is I'm stimulating each little muscle along my spine, which is releasing these different chemicals. And I wake up feeling like I just had a chemical peel. That is very cool. I like that. I do something similar to that myself. And, and especially if I'm sick or anything, I just feel it just coming out of my body. Yes. Just leaving my body. And I do yoga in the morning. Yes. Although I missed it this morning. <laughs> I'll have to go back and do it. But my, I do this yoga. And when, you know, you have to stay in a pose for a minute. You know, you, she says, okay, you're now in this warrior pose. Stay there. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> but anyway, I've learned to start just releasing. I release all the toxins or whatever I don't want. Whatever I say I'm releasing anything that doesn't serve me today from this muscle. And I go through every single muscle and bone and vertebrae in my body as I do the yoga. So, and it doesn't it feel so good? Oh, it's amazing. And you know what? It's okay that you missed it this morning. I'll tell you why. Because as we are faring and as, um, especially women, as we have conversations and we connect, you actually release oxytocin. So you just kind of did yeah. a different chemical peel today. You did. I did. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> Very cool. I love this. But all of yeah, guys, it is time for us to start loving this cool vessel we are in, you know, and, and it's time for us to just rejoice in us being us. You, there's a t really, we are enough. We may want to grow and there's nothing wrong with that, but truly we are enough. It is time for us to love it. So you got, so you got the body that maybe you're not in fit. So love it and start getting in fit. <laughs> that's your right choice and then you know what this is what we call totally. grow then glow as you grow into the choices that you want to make like that's because we all have it I love that you said we are enough we are enough if I were to say that I am enough to make the choices I want and then yeah. so we grow and then we glow and that's the whole thing about it so there's no more shaming no more body shaming no more shame there's too many tools there's too many tools and techniques and support out there that we don't need to do that and you know what if you if you want to wear a little um bigger clothes to hide some spots, then go feel comfortable, be comfortable. And, and, and don't feel that that's a negative thing. Just feel I'm being comfortable. <laughs> and the most important thing, if we haven't learned it, and Lisa explained it so beautifully, it's time to start punishing ourselves. Maybe we did, um, you know, have a, a hard night, or maybe we did overeat, or maybe when we were upset, we went and ate all that ice cream. And that does happen. I know. The sh I know you do. So, all right. So you do. But notice she didn't punish herself for that. Because believe it or not, the more you judge and punish yourself for that, the more you're going to do it. So and she didn't do that. She went the other route. She asked herself to forgive her because she was mad. And she was angry with them. And she doesn't want to be angry. See the difference? And that, that little difference is humongous because you are actually going to the source instead of the symptom and punishing yourself for the symptom. So isn't that cool stuff? Uh, uh, Lisa, this has been absolutely fabulous. Would you like to leave any other little tidbit for them? Any other little thing that you may have in your arsenal of wonderful things to love ourselves? <laughs> Do you have anything else? There is a funny one. It's, a, it's easy, it's simple, and it, even if you're uncomfortable, that's why I tell you to do it in private. You know, we, sometimes you might be in such a place you think, I'm not appreciative of everything. Hey, da, 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 you're angry and you're thinking, yeah. just put, <laughs> I don't even care if you turn the lights off, close the curtain so you can't even see yourself, but smile. Like just smile all alone by yourself, do your thing. And even if you have to think yeah. about, I love the way a flower smells. I love the way, I love cats, so I have my cats. I love oh, the way what kitties feel. <laughs> but you don't have to, it doesn't have to be about yourself. It's smart. I know it, it can actually even be painful at first if you're uncomfortable. Yeah. And if you don't want to, you want to frown and be upset. But you know, it just, that's the, uh, honestly, that's the biggest, best way to start your day. Smile when you take a sip of your tea, coffee, yeah. water, whatever it is you're doing, and yeah. just really enjoy that moment. And that will set off that chemical peel. That's the it beginning should, of it. Yes.
It yep. does. Because there are some days that are not totally going the way I want. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has them. Even me. Everybody does, guys. Me too. Everybody. <laughs> um, and, and I'll find, or I'll get serious, or just, I'm just contemplative. And I, I'm having some thoughts that I'm trying to work out on something, a plan or a project. But then all of a sudden, I notice that my face feels down. And I smile a lot normally anyway. But I feel and my face is down. And I'm thinking, oh, that's so weird. And when I go to smile, it's like, and I smile all the time. It feels so weird. Aaron's with a smiley face. <laughs> oh. All of a sudden, I can feel everything start to lift up. And it feels um, just stiff. <laughs> oh, you know I get I, mean? I have to tell you this. Um, I always know that I've had a fabulous time when I finish like a, a time with my girlfriend or a seminar or do something, and my makeup's just gross. I'm like, ah, like oh my god, because <laughs> I've been moving my face. But if but if my makeup's perfect, I'm like, ooh, that wasn't a good day. <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do enough smiling. Laughing. Yeah. It is true. I like the I, I like the idea. Just smile over your cup of tea. Turn off the lights and smile. Do whatever. Just feel yourself start to smile. Lisa, this has been fabulous. Well, thank you okay, guys, for having me. No more body shaming. Tell them where they can also learn more about you or whatever. You know what? what is I would just love to connect. So if you want to jump over to my Facebook page, it's Lisa Berry. And that's just a fun, perfect last name because it's a low glycemic fruit. It's B-E-R-R-Y. <laughs> Lisa I Berry. And just say hello. Just say, hey, I saw you. Or we're in the group. You know what? Say hello on a savvy sisterhood because I'm I'm in the group. Yeah. We can just say hello. She's there. in the group. There was <laughs> we are growing like crazy. All right. And then there's one more thing. One more thing we almost forgot. Guys, we almost forgot. We, both of us, Okay, Lisa and I, we're going to be in Boise, Idaho. Oh, my God, I yes. <laughs> what is in Boise, Idaho? I know. I really, honest to God, thought it was just potatoes. Honest to God. That's <laughs> how awful I am. And so I decided to look this up. But we are going to be in Boise, Idaho. And I'm, this is not some small event. Right, Lisa? This is there. This is growing like crazy. There will be between 500 to 1,000 people both days. Like, so you've got... Like a potential 2,000 people, there's going to be radio show coverage there. Um, you are a keynote speaker, so I'm excited to hear I you. Know. Well, yeah, but you're there too. I'm really? going to MC it. Ah! Ah, you're <laughs> MC? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> Guys, this is called the One Soul Expo. And you have seen us, I've been putting it up on the Facebook. This is big. This is not some, you know, oh, we're going to get together a little 100 people, maybe 30. <laughs> this is... Um, a very wonderful place to come if you are looking for healing, if you are looking for answers, if you want real solid growth, if you really want to explore this world and find where you fit in. This is the perfect place to go. And this is July, correct me if I'm wrong, Lisa, 13th and 14th. You are correct. And it's also yes. for the people who, um, yes. if you're a light worker, if you're a healer, if you're an author, if you want to bridge spirituality with business, this is it. Because you know what, if you're out there and you have a gift and you want to get out there, be like, I can't charge for this and I come to here. Yeah. Yes. Learn how to make a living doing your gift. <laughs> My gosh. Yes. You guys. Yes. <laughs> the law of compensation. <laughs> Come, come, we'll teach you and you will learn. It is a fabulous, fabulous event. We're both going to be there in July on the 13th, 14th. And she's up saying this so cool. And I'm keynote speaker. You got the best here. You got the best. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. So you told them where to go. Guys, she is on Savvy Sisterhood. Please comment. How about the first five people who comment? Maybe you could offer them some advice or something. What would you like to offer the first five people? Let's have fun with I have Because I love beauty and I love, I love twisting the stories around so that we feel great about ourselves. I have um, a beautiful, helpful little PDF. Uh, it's an it's a article that I've written called, <laughs> What if Cinderella had swollen feet? And it's all about oh, choices. Oh, so gosh, if somebody, you're struggling with choices and you're thinking, oh my gosh, what would happen if I made a different choice? The first five people, I'm going to send that to you. It's beautiful. It has lovely pictures around it. But think, Cinderella, like that's a, that's a crazy story. That's all kinds of judgments. So l let's hear it. Yeah. Have the, what if Cinderella had swollen feet? And you'll find out what, what would have happened. <laughs> Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. She probably would become a college professor or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I'm kidding. No, she's got a great article there. So the first five people who say, um, I'm interested, how's that? 
or even better, raise a question. Ooh. Raise a question that she could answer. First five people, and you'll receive this free. I love this. Welcome to Savvy Sisterhood if you're new. Guys, this is one kind of group that we really do care. You get great value and, and learning how to grow. And you get the support of your sisters, people like Lisa, people like Stephanie that I had on last team. Gail is on, Aaron's on. You guys, this is the group that really does offer you the friendship and support. So go ahead and start commenting. We love the hearts. Lisa, I am so happy to have you on. And Thank this you. has been a total, total joy. I can't wait to meet you in person too. <laughs> I can't wait. And we'll meet everybody else soon. <laughs> yes, we will. Yes, we will. <laughs> all right. Okay. Bye-bye. I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh.